Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into something really unique, the smallest Linux distro ever made, TinyCore Linux. If you're into digital minimalism or need to revive some old hardware, stick around as we explore what makes TinyCore Linux so um, tiny and powerful. What exactly is TinyCore Linux? As the name suggests, it's all about minimalism. TinyCore Linux is designed to have a tiny core just enough to boot up and display a desktop. This means it includes the essential kernel, busy box, and an FLWM desktop, and nothing more. The ISO image is incredibly small at only 21 megabytes. All additional applications are provided as extensions that you can download separately using the distro's package manager. Founded by Robert Shingledecker, who also developed Damn Small Linux, Tiny Core Linux is really the spiritual successor to DSL. And here's the cool part. The whole system gets loaded into your RAM, making everything super fast. Installing Tiny Core Linux is um, a bit different from your typical Linux distro. You can actually run it as a live distro, which they refer to as cloud slash internet mode. In this mode, you can download and install apps, but note they'll disappear once you restart unless you choose a different installation option. There are three installation media options to choose from. Core, this is the most minimal version, offering only a console interface. Perfect if you're looking for extreme minimalism. Tiny Core. This version comes with a desktop environment, giving you a graphical interface to work with. Core Plus, a more comprehensive option that includes Wi-Fi drivers and non-US keyboard layouts, though it's a bit larger at 163 megabyte. To get Tiny Core Linux running, you simply extract the installation media and boot it like any other Linux distro. At boot time, you'll see various boot options. If you've used Nopix, this should feel familiar. And to actually install it on your hard drive, you'll use the menu-driven TC install program from the package manager. It's as simple as picking your partition and installing the bootloader. Now, let's talk about the desktop. Tiny Core Linux uses the FLWM window manager. The look is a bit rough around the edges, kind of like a late 90s throwback, but it's very functional. You'll see extensions automatically installed to a dock at the bottom of the screen, and you can launch apps via a right-click menu. Speaking of extensions, Tiny Core comes with its own package manager. On the first boot, it automatically selects the fastest mirror for you. With the graphical app browser, you can search and install all sorts of extensions. Once downloaded, these extensions are loaded into RAM on each boot, ensuring that your system stays light and fast. So, is Tiny Core Linux uh, right for you? If you're into digital minimalism or need to breathe new life into an older computer, even one with an i486 processor and just 48 megabytes of RAM, Tiny Core Linux could be a great choice. Just keep in mind, if you start installing larger applications like Firefox or LibreOffice, the system won't stay as tiny as it was originally intended to be. This distro bucks the trend of ever larger Linux images by keeping things minimal. Its lightweight nature makes it ideal not only for old PCs, but also for embedded applications like routers or minimal servers. In a world filled with bloated distros, Tiny Core Linux stands out by doing just a little bit and doing it very well. If you're looking for a unique minimalistic Linux experience or simply want something different from the norm, Tiny Core Linux is definitely worth checking out. All right, that wraps up our look at Tiny Core Linux, the smallest Linux distro ever made. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech deep dives, and leave a comment down below with your thoughts or questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.